Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about a common problem and an easy fix. I'm sure you've seen plenty of these brushed aluminum switch bezels. The first obvious problem is that there's a clear coat that has gotten removed. And so the question is, can we replace the clear coat? Will this clear strip off easily? And if it does, then we have a pretty easy job ahead of us. When we can remove the bezels, it's a clean and easy job. Now here I'm unhooking the electrical. That way we can take a closer look and see how to remove the switches themselves. Just lightly prying up on those four tabs is enough to let the switch loose. Now the alternative to this is to do the same thing before unhooking the electrical, as we've done here on the driver's side. So here I'm going to use some acetone on a bounty towel and just clean all that existing clear. So that means it's not a catalyzed clear. It's likely a single stage lacquer and so the acetone does a nice job. And with the clear removed, you can see there are some scratches in the aluminum. So in this instance, I'm grabbing a piece of worn out gray scuff pad and using some soap just as a lubricant and we're going to see if that's sufficient for uh, putting those lines back in the aluminum and straightening out all of those pits that we saw. And it looks like it's doing a fine job. So that means we don't have to go to anything uh, more serious as far as, as putting our brushed uh, look back into that aluminum. So the worn out scuff pad is working just fine. And it won't hurt to do the whole piece for uniformity. So I cleaned it down with some acetone once again in preparation for painting. Now an aerosol clear will expedite this job. I'll put on two light coats. So I think uh, any quality single stage automotive clear coat would work. It could be out of the gun or it could be something you have on hand in an aerosol. And two coats for good measure. So that looks good. Once that's dry, we'll install that. We have this tongue that slips under first. So we'll hook up our electrical and slide that tongue inside the door panel, then the rest of it snaps in place. That's all there is to that. And we're going to take a brief look at the other parts. So we've got the driver's side bezel, giving that the very same treatment. The only thing we want to do on this one is there's a little weakness in the black part, so we're going to touch up the black when we're finished. And for this step, I'm using my black plastic coater, which I make using the plastic primer base, the water-based plastic primer and pigment. Now we want to turn our attention to the bezel where the stop-start button is, because that gets a lot of wear also. Uh, you can access the screw for that 
by first of all just prying off this plastic panel on the bottom. You can probably get to the screw right from there, but I'm removing the panel entirely here. That uh, involves removing the little lamp and then just taking the panel out of the way. And of course I need my trusty flashlight to see up in there. But there's a Phillips head screw right there. You'll find it uh, easier to focus than I, I feel sure. And so that one screw is the only thing permanently holding that bezel in place. And for the electrical connection, you can see the brown tab that needs depressed and then that pries loose. And then to remove the switch, just push on those two plastic tabs. So the same deal as the other pieces, we'll breeze through it in a hurry. So the really neat thing about these pieces is that they can be refinished at any time. They could be made to look new indefinitely. Now that looks so much better. Now this vehicle happens to be a Nissan Murano and you know those used ones are pigs anyway. The bottom half inch of this dash was totally rotted away. So we had that to do plus we had a couple of seats to touch up, a door panel to touch up and the carpet to dye. Well I hope you appreciated that brief easy video. And as our friend Gary says, go out there and be craftsmen.